Hey guys, so this is just going to be a really quick video on how a PNP transistor works. So we'll just go over this real quick. Okay, so a PNP transistor um, is different from an NPN transistor, being that um, we connect the positive voltage supply to the emitter terminal. And um, to the base terminal, we connect a voltage that is more... Um, that is lower or more negative than the the voltage we connect at the emitter terminal so um, connecting the base terminal um, to ground through a resistor um, works makes a PNP transistor works really well because the the voltage is lower than at the emitter so this works fine and um, the purpose of doing this is that in a PNP transistor, there has to be negative current flow um, from the base. Like current flows away from the base to ground, and I'll show you right now. This is how this is how a PNP tr transistor is internally um, composed. It's composed of two P um, regions, and then sandwiched in a N region. So, and this is why it's called PNP. And how it works is you have to either connect negative voltage or a voltage lower than at the emitter terminal because you want to shrink this region right here. If you apply a negative voltage here or a voltage that it's more negative than at the emitter terminal, what this does is current flows out of the emitter and then it flows to ground. And then when current flows out, it's like you're shrinking the N region so that it, it um, becomes smaller and smaller. And at the same time, say if you have the emitter right here and the collector terminal here, if you apply positive voltage um, to here, while you're applying more negative voltage to the base terminal, what this does is it shrinks the N region because current is flowing out so electrons are flowing out so this region is becoming depleted and at the same time you're pushing you have voltage voltage is really a force that um, that in this case pushes um, holes in the P region so you have holes then that is able to flow through um, from the emitter to the collector and um, this is how you have the the load then powered at the output. So this is how um, a PNP transistor works. How it's biased. You can see why you need more um, a lower voltage than at the emitter terminal because you want to shrink this region, and then you put a voltage here which allows the holes to flow through. And when the region is shrinked, it's almost like it's non-existent. So that's why holes can then just flow through and then power in the load. So this is how a PNP transistor circuit is biased. And one second. So just to show you real quick, I have a setup right here. I have a PNP transistor circuit hooked up right here. And this is the PMP. Um, if you look all the way from the left to the left, that's the emitter terminal. The middle is the base, and then the last one is the collector. So I have positive voltage hooked up to the collector. I have about five volts. And then if you run this, you'll see it goes right here. And it's right at the collector terminal. To the base terminal, I hook up a resistor. Um, a, a 1k resistor that will um, that will allow for um, that's sufficient resistance um, you want to have a um, resistor connected to the base and I connected a, um, a switch to the base terminal um, one side is connected to the positive 5 volts of the DC power supply and the other side is connected to ground because I want to show the difference when um, when the base is hooked up to positive voltage and when it's hooked up to ground 
So right now it's hooked up to positive voltage. This is why the LED is off. So if I switch this switch, you can see now the LED is fully on. And it, this is because the, the base of the PNP transistor is connected to ground and that allows for negative current flow. Remember I said again, when there's negative current flow from the base, that's when um, the end region is shrinked so that holes can flow through from the emitter to collector and power in the load. So this is exactly what happens when the base terminal is connected to, um, to ground. So we get that negative current flow down to ground that shrinks the region, then we're able to power in the load. So this is how, um, yeah, this is how a PNP transistor works. Thanks for watching.